Hey Fox, welcome back. Um, I noticed most of my videos are actually some kind of VST replacement videos where I take some inspiration for some VST plugins and then I try to recreate it inside of Bitbig Studio. And also sometimes people come up to me and ask me, well, here's this and that Eurorack module. How can we replicate this inside of Bitbig Studio? So in this video, it's not any different, right? Um, the inspiration comes from um, Final Boost here or fin boost um, from UJAM. It's basically something you put on a master, uh, like I did here. And then you put this on the master and then you can increase here the intensity of this plugin. And then with this, you can create kind of sweeps or transitionings uh, between certain sections, right? You, use this here maybe in the intro and then you go up and up and then you drop basically into the main beat. So it's something you can create risers with your whole track. The only problem here is basically you can only work with your audio material on the master bus, so not individual tracks. Also something along those lines is also here called uh, Endless Smile by Dada Life, right? You have some presets here. And then you increase the intensity. And then you drop into the main section or whatever. Um, so this is something you can, of course, replicate inside of Bitwig Studio pretty easily. Uh, but I want to use this time not a manual knob for that here, yeah, because you probably want to automate this anyway. Um, we can use the global modulator for that easily, right? Um, it makes at least sense. So what I do sometimes or did in the recent days is to use a curve for that. And with the curve, we can easily create some kind of ramp. So right click here, reset curve. So something like this, right? Where you can increase the intensity over time. And here this is a bit too fast, of course. So we dial in here slower ramp maybe uh, bar and then we go to let's say eight bars right you can see it's slowly here moving up and maybe you want don't want to have any effect in this section here right and then at the end you fade in you increase intensity and then you drop into the next section so you can paint this in uh, here at the curve editor pretty nicely and we can also have to synchronize this here, of course, to the BPM. And then because this is now a global modulator, we can go into every kind of track here and do something with it, right? So let's bring in here the beat again. So here we have the chords, right? So maybe we can increase the pitch of the chords, maybe. I don't know, if by 12 semitones. Actually, this is bipolar. We have to switch this here to... So we are at zero down here, right? So maybe we also open up the filter here. Maybe we increase the decay time. Is there a reverb on it now? You can increase here the send with the reverb. Maybe release time also. Let's see. Maybe the pitch is not the best option here. But you can hear it increases in kind of intensity here over time. And we reduce here the reverb. The def default setting for the reverb. So something like this. So we can go over to the bass here. Then on the bass, of course, we want to also open up here the the frequency cut off and here on the bass we want to reduce actually what we send into the reverb let's see how this sounds okay 
here we have some kind of um, step sequence are running. Let's play this here actually. Um, which then plays a polymer. Yeah, it's some kind of ARP. So also here, you can open up the filter. You can do all kinds of things. You can't do actually with these VST plugins because they don't have access to all these tracks. They only can do things on the master or on the sum. Let me increase here the mix of the delay. itself maybe we can introduce uh, some kind of delay so we bring this down to zero here by default and then the riser increases here slowly um, the mix of the delay on the kick. What you also can do is probably use a chain here. Instead of bringing in the mix here of the delay, you put the delay into the chain and then here, put it at 100% and maybe also a frequency shifter in there. Right, let's bring this down, this down and then we bring slowly in the mix here. Maybe 50, maybe 100%. Then also bring up here the shift. You can see we modulate a lot of things with just with this curves modulator in all kinds of tracks, in all kinds of uh, uh, positions and parameters. So um, it gets you basically the plugins here called Final Boost and uh, Endless Smile for free. And you also have m much more control because you can go into the individual tracks and you also have it on the global modulator, right? You can use it in all kinds of places. Which is really nice and handy. You can also change that intensity if you want to. If you don't want to use this, right? You pull this down and nothing happens. So let's bring this down. Right? So nothing happens. Or you can say, uh, I only want to have this every 16 bars. Right? So it gets slower. like this you can create already just with modulator some kind of minimal arrangement within the clip launcher just by adding this to your global uh, modulator panel and then modulating things on the tracks right nice so we have a nice little transitioning riser sweep just created with this uh, modulator Of course, these kind of plugins are no-brainers. You put them on, they have still the right to exist right <laughs> in, inside of Bitwig Studio. So you can just buy them and use that, put it on the master and just move this up and call it the day. You have also a lot of presets in here. Oh, maybe let's modulate this here. I mean, it's bit big. We can just modulate the intensity of this. Let's see how this sounds. Wait for it. Wait for it. Mm. 
Bam. That's how it works. So global modulator, curve modulator here. Select bars, go to 16 bars or 8 bars or whatever. Uh, you synchronize here and then modulate the fuck out of every track, every parameter on these tracks and create risers and sweeps this way. Pretty easy. So it's a replacement basically for these kind of plugins. But you can also use these plugins if you want to. 